What you're looking at here is a piece of 12mm thick steel and I have used the uh, an, an exhaust gasket here to um, to give me the shape that I have to cut out to make uh, the flange the flange plate for the set of headers I need to make for this car. Okay, what I've done here is I've drilled a shitload of holes, a whole stack of them. Drilled hole, lots of multiple holes in where I have to file out the ports. Now I'm going to have to cut the um, uh, cut out where it goes around the inlet manifold. Okay, next day, and as you can see from this. Uh, footage. I've mostly cut out the plate. I've got one more port here to to file out and I want to clean up this the bottom edge of these cutouts here just so it looks neat more than anything else and I'll probably round off, round off the corners a bit just to make it look tidier but uh, then once that's done I can then tack on the um, tack on the pipes and the pipes I'm going to make out of it. This is what this was some kind of generic four into one system for a Japanese motorbike from, from my local trash and treasure. In fact, I rescued it from the scrap metal skip. It's got all these lovely, nice bends, and with a bit of cutting and shutting, I should be able to make it into a nice uh, set of headers for this for this motor of mine. Here we are back again. Now I've filed out the last exhaust port which is a bastard really getting sick of filing by this stage if we look here you can see that there's not much room and I've got to make sure that when I make the headers that they go around the alternator and they've got to clear everything else Stein manifold. if I take the existing manifold off and um, then I bolt it to the bench or to various bits of ironmongery to um, to make a jig so that I can keep the outlet of the outlet pipe in exactly the same position in relation to the exhaust plan I shouldn't have too much trouble making this okay the next stage is to take off the manifold okay. first thing works out okay I've just test fitted the flange plate and it bolts up to the head this is the manifold and downpipe that I have to essentially replicate as a tubular header. Um, I think it's going to be a bit tricky, but I've got some ideas on how I might do it. Um, so I have to come out further than I thought um, to clear things like engine mounts and stuff like that. But um, tomorrow, it's, it's nearly sunset here now. As you can see, it doesn't sort of match the usual sort of shape you imagine for a set of headers. But it shouldn't be impossible. First task is to make a jig that will hold this part here in relation to the flange that bolts to the engine. There we go. I've got um, the first part of the jig sort of in position, I'm just about to weld it together. How does that look, guys? That's my four pipes all coming together at the same point. Now I just have to do some little bits of metal that will join those, those pipes to the main outlet pipe. As you'll see, I welded some little braces on it to keep it all in relationship one to, to, it, to itself. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's the first stage of making a collector. The proof of the pudding is in the eating and now I've got the new headers on there. They don't actually look that much different to the uh, cast iron ones, but of course they're tubular. Now I'm going to start the car, just to demonstrate what it sounds like. That is pretty damn good. It's not too loud. I count this whole job as being something of a success.